In this episode, some handy hacks to help with your DIY crafts. Have you ever wondered how to make these tiny little ribbons? Well, unless you have tiny hands, you might want to try using a fork. I'm going to teach you just how to do it. Grab your ribbon and then you want to weave it in and out of the grooves. And then you want to do that again, just weave it up the fork about five times. Now I need to cut my ribbon, grab another piece of ribbon, fit it down the fork just like this. Then I just got to tie a knot. So when you're done with your knot, just take it off the fork. And I'm just gonna shape my longer bits down so that you know, you've got that nice bow effect. Then you just cut it. And then I have my little ribbon. He's so cute. Alrighty, so here's a really cool hack for your hammer. You can actually put a magnet on your hammer to stick all your nails to it. I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue on the magnet. This hot glue gun cord is ridiculously Look at it! How the hell do you do anything with a, with a cord like that? So stupid. All right, so I've got my glue on the magnet and then I'm gonna stick it to the bottom of the hammer. Give it a good hard press and wait for it to dry. And now you can actually stick nails to your hammer. So when you're working on a ladder, it's super easy and you don't have to hold them in your mouth and it's like really gross. Anyway, so look at this, ready? Uh, clever, right? And then you could be hammering and you need a nail and you hammer that in and they all stick there. How handy is that? I wish I knew about this earlier because this would have been so much more handy. Because <laughs> I always keep them in my mouth or in my pocket, mostly in my mouth. For those of you who sew, magnets actually work really well with pins. I have some magnets right here. Now some pin containers have magnets in them already, but if you don't and you want to do your own container, grab an empty container, grab some magnets, and then just place your magnet on the other side like that. And then you've got yourself a magnet in a container. Amazing. <laughs> Okay, I'm kidding. So if you've got some loose pins lying around, if you sew, you know what I mean. This is a really simple way to pick up all your loose pins. Also, if you spill your container, they're not gonna fall out as easily, see? Super cool, right? For those of you who own a sewing machine, you'll probably find that keeping your bobbins in a container can be a little bit annoying because the thread on the bobbins are always unraveling and getting tangled up with each other. So here's a really hack. Oh gosh. So I'm gonna teach you how to keep them all neat and tidy. And all you need is these pedicure toe separators. I don't know what they're called. These things that you put your toes in. <laughs> And then I'm just gonna put my bobbins in each of the nooks. <laughs> and this way they don't get tangled and it's nice and neat. And you can see the thread colors a lot easier. You can just put them in your container and they're never gonna get tangled. Eh? So now I'm gonna teach you how to DIY your own roller pattern. You can use this technique if you wanna make your own wrapping paper or if you wanna do this on your wall or books or whatever you want. It's up to you, you can be creative. Anyway, so all you need is a rolling pin. I've got some Glad Wrap here with me at the moment. Now I'm gonna grab my rolling pin and I'm gonna wrap the Glad Wrap around the rolling pin. I'm just gonna scrunch it up a bit so that I get all the little grooves. I'm gonna dip my roller in the paint and I'm gonna cover the whole thing with the paint. And I'm just gonna simply roll in one stroke all the way down the paper. Look at that, gives a really cool effect, right? Now I have paint all over me. <laughs> Another way is to actually use rubber bands. Grab your pin and throw on the rubber bands just like this. Cover your rolling pin with some paint Gently press down, and then you'll get these really cool lines. This is great for wrapping paper or your wallpaper or any of your crafts. Very easy. When you want to spray paint something, placing it on flat. <laughs> when you want to spray paint something, placing it on a flat surface may cause the paint to accumulate at the bottom edge just like this. And sometimes the paint may seep underneath and cause a mess. Other times it could stick to the surface that you left it on to dry. 
To solve this problem, all you need is some tacks to elevate the object. I place it on the cardboard just like this. And then I just got to place the object on top of the tacks and this way it is nicely elevated. Now all there is to do is to spray paint away, my friends. So now that it's dry, you can see that the paint did not accumulate at the bottom edges. And there you have it, a really easy way to have clean edges when you're spray painting. So for those of you who work with acrylic paints, you will know how irritating it is to try and get this dried acrylic paint off surfaces. So all you need is some nail polish remover, pour it in the little tub that you want to be cleaned, and let it soak for a little bit. So this actually only works on non-porous surfaces like glass, plastics and metals. Anyway, I've let that soak for a little bit so now I'm gonna grab a little bit of tissue paper. I'm gonna soak up the nail polish remover that's inside there and give it a good scrub. All right. So you can see there's a little bit still left in there but you can go over it with a Q-tip, people. And there you go, that's all there is to it, my friends. So let's say I wanna paint a straight line on this piece of wood right here. All I need to do is grab my masking tape. I need two pieces. Ah, about there is good enough. Oh, shit. <laughs> Trust me to do that. Do one side like this. One sand, I want another piece of tape, the sand size. Okay, this time I'll take it away from the paper so that the tape doesn't stick to it. Press it down, grab your paint, roll it over the line just like this. I've let that dry a little bit, um, so I'm gonna gently pull off the tape now. All right, that's one side done, my friends. <laughs> and there you go, I've got my straight line, which is kind of crooked. Like this side is in the middle and this side is closer to me. <laughs> but you can see that it's a straight line, right? Yes. And that is it for this episode. Now, if you didn't already know, I've started designing our own merchandise, just like this tea. You can find this tea along with other stuff on our website at tandemmerch.com. You can also follow me on Instagram at rjt99. And if you haven't done so already, please download the free Click Network app to watch all of our videos before they come out on YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. Mwah. Beep.